Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all well. It's Chloe here, and let me be the first to say Happy New Year! Happy 2023. I wish you all the happiness in the world for this year, um, and I hope you achieve your goals that you've set for this year. I have set some goals as well which I'm going to reveal on Wednesday's video so please keep your eyes peeled for that but today we are reminiscing on 2022 and I'm going to be revealing all of my 2022 favourites. Um, Barney can you come here please? So before I got distracted from Barney, yes, I'm going to be revealing all of my 2022 favourites and they are in categories of home, tech, beauty and self-care, TV shows and clothing. Got loads to show you, so without further ado, let's head on to the video and see what I've picked for my favourite things this year. Mm. Okay, so the first category for you is beauty and self-care. Okay, so the first one on the list I don't actually have right in front of me, but um, it is the Body Shop Face Mask and Eye Mask. And Garnier has been another one of my favourites as well. I just love their eye masks. I just love sometimes, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, just to finish the week off, just to put an, a face mask on and just make my skin glow um the eye mask i have been loving in the morning just to kind of wake myself up a bit um so yeah literally one of my favorites um and i would definitely recommend either body shop or garnier either one of them will do the trick for you Okay, so the next beauty product on my list is MD Acne and I have the products with me here. Now, if you don't know what MD Acne is, it is a skincare brand when you first go on their app and it's taken to a camera and you stay still in front of this camera for maybe about five seconds while they examine your face and when they've done it, they will pick out all the worst kind of blemishes and bad spots on your face. Um, and because of that, they will bring three products to your door that can help with um, your um, skin. Um, so when I first got this, you will have a customised hydrating cleanser and it will tell you to use it night or day. And this is both. Next one is the customised active moisturiser and this is just a day moisturiser. And then you get a customised treatment cream and this is for night time only and I have been using this for quite a while and as you can see I've not really had any bad skin um, problems um, in the last couple of months so this brand has definitely done the trick and is such an easy um, app to follow um even though i don't like looking at the camera when i look my worst it does pick out the worst um spots and blemishes that you do have but they're only picking it out so that they can pick the right kind of um products for you um and they send it to your door within five to seven days and yeah it's just amazing and i love it okay, so there is one more for the beauty and self-care um, category and it is function of beauty now with function of beauty it has a similar kind of format to md acne but when you go on function of beauty website you are taken to a quiz and you basically take this quiz and it's in stages of four now the first step is to kind of explain to function of beauty what your hair is currently like um so it will say about your hair type the structure um and if it's kind of maybe dry oily or all, all these things that they'll need to know what your hair is currently like the second step is what you want to achieve with your hair 
when you get to these products so it's basically a kind of like hair goals really um and it and some of the things that i've seen especially when i've gone on to the second part it's all kind of replenish shine um i'm just trying to think of the others frizz um just they, they have a, a whole variety of different things that you can pick and you can only pick up to five um and it's just five hair girls that you want to achieve with these bottles when they arrive at your door and then the third step is actually my favorite part pick the scent and you can also pick what color dye that you want for the bottles um the first bottle i had was pink and now the second bottle that i'm on to now is a kind of gorgeous um silky purple um and they've got all all the other colors such as blue green um yellow red um they've got a whole variety and you can pick the color you can pick the scent you can personalize it with your name on um so yeah i think it is amazing so we are now on to home now the first one is kind of a little bit of self-care but home as well so i've kind of collaborated this first one together and it is diamond painting um and i don't think i've really spoken much about diamond painting but i started this back in lockdown um like early lockdown as well so when we were going in march i probably did this in the summer of lockdown of 2020 um and I did loads of diamond painting pictures and I got really inspired by my friend Mia who used to work with me um, at my first job. Um, I don't speak to her much now but I kept seeing her on Facebook doing all of these diamond painting pictures and it just, it just inspired me to do mine and as soon as I started I was in absolute awe and I absolutely love doing it and my favourite part of the diamond painting is when I've finished finished it and just seeing what the picture looks like like from afar because when you look from afar it does actually look really realistic um, but obviously not when you're close up it's just literally like diamond studs on a picture um, but yeah currently at the moment I am doing this galaxy one um, and as you can see I am um, nearly finished um i've just not had time to finish the rest yet i might do some of it tonight you never know so the next one on the list i um was reading a lot of during summer but not just recently because i'm i've been incredibly busy um but it is the first um, edition of the Magpie Society um, by Zoe Sugg and Amy McCulloch I think her name is um, I don't know how to say her name right but I hope that was right um, and I've taken the cover of it, cover off it because it was annoying me um, but yeah this is Magpie Society one for sorrow um, I absolutely loved this during the summer um, I remember taking this to me it with me to college and I would read this on the bus um or if i was sat down ready to go into class i would read it um i was just i was just hooked but i haven't read it since and i'm only halfway through the book um i don't know if you can see my little bookmark peeping through yeah i've not really read a lot of it yet i'm only still on chapter 10 and i've probably only got I've got, uh, I've got, um, 40 chapters left. So, yeah, great. Um, so I'm only on chapter 10 and I've only got 40 chapters to go. Um, but I've not really picked this up in the last couple of months of 2022. I've been incredibly busy. I lost it. I didn't know where it went and did a cleaning day the other day and I found it. So I might um, pick this up more and read the rest of it. Um, I do kind of remember some of the, um, the plots of this book. Um, 
because when I'm really into it, I do remember the actual kind of what's going on. Um, instead of like reading back, trying to refresh my memory. Um, that's how obsessed I am. Um, and I just love love this book. I just need to read more of it, basically. But yeah, I am definitely hooked on this book. And the um, the second book came out um as well just recently and i purchased that as well and that is currently in my book drawer and i'm going to be obviously reading that after the first one um so yeah definitely my bag magpie society has definitely had me hooked for 2022 i just need to read more of it <laughs> okay so this next favorite is a recent thing um and just recently I was doing a lot of vintage purchases and a lot of people were purchasing off every parcel shop and it required me to have a shipping label um, downloaded to my emails and I had the struggle during summer where I would go to Max Mills when a photo shop and just print um, some um, shipping labels fingers off and then cut it off and then send it um and when it was the black friday sale i decided to get myself a shipping label printer um just to save bus money and time just to go into that photo shop again and just down like download and print some of the shipping label um for the items but when this arrived and I started using it and I had orders for every parcel shop and started using this for the the labels, I was obsessed because the um sorry because the uh the labels they are adhesive as well on the back. So they are literally stickers and when I printed them out and stuck it on it was literally the most easiest thing in the world and i'm so glad that i got this off amazon by the black friday sale because originally it was going to be i think 150 60 but i got this for 92 pounds um which obviously is still expensive but it was definitely worth it in the black friday sale and i'd just been paid so that was fun um so yeah i I'm so happy that I purchased a shipping label printer for those times that I want to do a vintage sort out and throw out um, just to sell some of my clothes again. Um, so yeah, definitely an amazing purchase, I think, um, just recently. So the next one is initially meant for pregnant women, but as you know, I'm not pregnant. But I love this, even though it is for pregnant women. It is my v-neck pillow. It's just so comfy and it just relieves my back pain so much. Because I've even got back pain right now and it's more in my lower back and just putting it near my lower back and just like relaxing on this pillow for 10 minutes just relieves that back pain and it's just oh, it's so comfy so comfy i love this v-neck pillow oh. i don't even care that it's for pregnant women i think it's for everyone who is <laughs> who's out there right now so the next one is my flower vase I absolutely love this. Um, I'm going to try and get it out carefully. Um, I just love the flowers in it. Um, and I just especially love this um, jug vase. Um, and the little kind of print on the front. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it's showing because of the ring light being really bright on it but it's just kind of like this leafy kind of effect on the front and I just love how it's a jug kind of type vase and I am obsessed and I just love the flowers as well um, and just creates a gorgeous picture for my desk. 
can't show you the next one but the next one I've got is the clothes rail and you've probably seen this on my channel before where I was building it and it is probably somewhere on the screen linked for you or maybe down below um I did a video just um a couple of months ago where I was um clearing out my SD card um and it was kind of videos from my birthday um when we got Bonnie and I was introducing him to you and building my clothes rail um and that's where you will see me building it um and stuff like that I'm so proud of myself for building that um I'm so surprised that I could do it and it was pretty straightforward and it's a great asset to my room and it's going to make those videos that I'm maybe going to do a haul or anything just make it amazing um for you guys and um I've not really used it recently um but it is great now and again if I am doing hauls that I've got loads of uh, like items for that I'm gonna just chuck them on the clothes rail and then I can take it one by one if I'm filming for the Instagram reel or for YouTube or anything. I know that you saw it in the background of um the recent video um that I did back in October, November. Um and yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I, it's just one of those purchases that I'm so glad I made. Now we are finished with the home section. We are now on to technology. And the first one is a purchase that I made back in um, summer. And it is a Nintendo Switch. And I remember back in May, I believe, um, I went to my sister's house and I, I started playing on Animal Crossing and I was like, can I play? Because um, I knew that when she first started playing Animal Crossing back um, in lockdown when it was all the hype and rage that she wouldn't let me on her Animal Crossing um, and I was very sad but when, we, when I came to her house in that May, I started playing it on hers and I was like oh my god I love this um, and because since then it was kind of like July time where I decided to get one and got went in Curry's or went on the Curry's website actually I didn't actually go into Curry's um, and I saw a bundle where it had this Nintendo Switch and this Animal Crossing game that I got together with the Switch and if you are one of them people that are thinking about a Nintendo Switch um, please get it with a game it's so much cheaper um, than getting this and then getting this um, I just love how it was together with a bundle with Animal Crossing and Animal Crossing is one of the games that I definitely wanted to have in my collection of a Nintendo Switch I've got other games on here as well. Animal Crossing, I have got the um, Brain Training, um, if you remember that on the Wii or the Nintendo DS. Um, I remember having the DS and it was kind of on sideways and I would like do um, my calculations and yeah, I remember doing that, it was so fun. Um, Mario Kart Deluxe, um, I love that one, Mario Kart. I've got Big Brain Academy, I remember playing that on the Wii, um, brings back so many memories and then Just Dance 2022. Okay, so the next one is my headphones. Now, um, this is a recent purchase because I did have some um, before this, um, but the other ones started getting a bit... Um, a bit down and the quality wasn't as great um, and these ones are amazing and it's kind of like got that style of the Apple um, ones but obviously I know it's not the Apple ones um, it's just kind of like got that kind of style um, and everything and I know it's in pink so I know it won't be the actual Apple ones but they are such amazing quality um and so easy to get on as well like i just literally press a button and it goes paired and it's like all done um and it's so comfy 
on my head as well um, and I know with the other one before I got these that when I put it on my head it was very um it there was a lot of weight to it I know that and um with these ones um they've got kind of like a little cushion cushion D kind of a uh, spongy bit on the top um, and it's just amazing and I love these headphones. Next one is um, a purchase that was made back in January, February when I knew it was still cold. Um, but this is a headphone, headphone headband. Um, and I just think this is a great invention. Uh, because I do like listening to a podcast or um, some music before I go to bed and just like on a pillow honestly it's just so it's so amazing compared to these if you're in bed it just really hurts your ears if you use these but this doesn't you just literally go on a go on on the bed and you literally don't feel any pain at all and the sound is quite better when you're like on one of your ears as well uh, I just love it absolutely love it I do need to actually charge it because it is out of battery but I just wanted to show you um, for the purpose of this video that is everything from the tech section and now we are on to my favourite section of all clothing I have a mixture of winter stuff and summer stuff just to kind of reminisce of uh, summer clothing and winter clothing so first season is summer and the first one of this section is this pink metallic um corset top i absolutely adore this i love it so much it's got gorgeous um detailing um on the front love the metallic pink um and it's such a great addition to my wardrobe and such a gorgeous night owl outfit so if i was maybe going to a concert or maybe drinks with the girls or um just any going out um occasion this is the corset top to wear if i wanted to wear a corset top next is a winter um, outfit and it is this black and white hoodie um, I absolutely love this the only downside to this um, which I'm really sad about is that it's not on that side I think it's on this one is that it does have a hole in it um, and I'm really sad about that um, I'm not gonna ruin it anymore but I just thought I'd show you the hole um, yeah that's the only downside to this top but you don't really see it until i put my arm up um but yeah besides it having a hole in the arm i just love this hoodie and it's so cozy and i just i love it next we are doing winter again and this is a recent purchase and this is um something that i got inspired by um Isabella Maya and it is these fleece tights only downside to these ones is that they are only one size and I was very hesitant whether to get these or not um, because of um, kind of my body structure I didn't know how these were gonna fit on me um, but after seeing it it does look really stretchy um and i remember just putting these on when i got them because i was so excited i was a little bit um worried i was like oh my god it's not fitting me like do i have to send these back like i don't know um and i just worn it for like maybe 10 minutes after putting them on and it fit me so comfy and i think it's just something to kind of maybe adjust to my body type I don't know but I absolutely love these fleece tights after trying them on um, I know I was, he I, I was hesitant especially when it just said one size um, but because they are stretchy, stretchy they will um, adjust to my body 
shape sometime soon um i'm just looking at the look of them they just look amazing and it will just be a great addition to those days where it's really really cold next one is my favorite pair of jeans and i spoke about in a tiktok once um, saying that these are my favourite pair of jeans and I'm going to get more of. These are the H&M Ultra High Waist jeans. And these are the pair of jeans that I got. And I was like, oh my god. They fit me and I'm going to get more of them. Um, and I just worn them all the time with the, with any um, outfit I was wearing. I was always picking out these jeans because they just fit me like a glove and they just they're just amazing and it was such an amazing feeling when i found the right pair of jeans because i have been struggling in previous years to find the right pair of jeans um because if a pair of jeans didn't fit me it the reasons would have been probably um the waistline it probably would have said high waisted but it was really tight around the waist or it would be really long too baggy just didn't suit me um and when i saw these these were the most amazing pair and i was just in awe and i was so happy that i got the pair that fit me like a glove this next one is summer and this one i'm gonna have to keep on the hanger because um it's very complicated and it's all with like ties and everything but this is my purple tie-dye dress and i got this maybe two years ago um so maybe back in lockdown when we was doing um a shopping spree like after lockdown because you know with primark how they don't have an online kind of online um, website um, and I went in I just saw this and I knew this was the dress of dreams I was wearing this dress all summer um, it is very complicated to get in though um, but once I'm in it is so comfy to wear um, and I just love the purple tie-dye effect um, and I just love this and even though this was a purchase from two years on it is still one of my favorite summer dresses Next, we are on to mango, and this is the wrong way <laughs> wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so this is from mango, and it is this gorgeous long um, pink dress, and I wore this a lot during summer as well, alongside the purple tie dye dress. Um, it was just such a gorgeous dress to wear; it was so comfy um and yeah it was just i just loved the material as well um and it, i think it came in green as well but obviously i'm not really a fan of green um and this was a great addition to my summer wardrobe this one is a winter edition um piece and it is my leather trousers and similar to the jeans i have been trying to find the right pair of leather trousers um because i was very hesitant on what size to get because i didn't want to get a size down and have a rust moment i didn't want to be the size that i am and then it like not fit me on the leg or around the waist um or whatever so i actually sized up in these leather trousers and they fit me like a glove um and they just look so beautiful um, and I'm so glad that I made that purchase. And this um, last clothing item, I'm actually going to stand up for this. Because um, you won't see the full effect until I've actually got it on me. And it is my brown fluffy leather coat. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm absolutely obsessed with this um, and I remember seeing it and I was like I need it but I was very like shall I get it shall I not it was very expensive as well um, and I'm so glad I made the right decision because look at this okay so we are done with the clothing section and now we are on to TV shows
So the first one on the list for this one is Mammals. Now this is the one with James Corden in and I wasn't really sure about it to begin with. And then I just watched it on Gogglebox when they was watching the first episode. And watching them watch it and then I was just like, what? I was just like hooked on it and I couldn't take my like face away from the screen and I watched the full first episode and I just love it I absolutely love it um and it's on Prime Video if you do want to watch it and I believe that James Corden has done a really good job in this um in this TV show and it's one of my favorite shows for sure just recently because obviously the, it only came out recently so yeah it had to be added to the list because I was just hooked on it forever and I probably um, binge watched it in two days so yeah next is the Kardashians now um, the first season came was it this was it this summer or June, I can't remember. Um, I can't remember when the first season came out, but um, it was just one of those shows that I was probably watching while having breakfast ready for going up to college um, or whatever. And I just loved watching the Kardashians while I'm eating. Um, and yeah, the Kardashians is one of like my all-time favorite reality TV shows. And I, and I mean, I wasn't really that into keeping up with the Kardashians until it was kind of like the later seasons um but yeah I love the Kardashians I love it and I still need to watch season two but I'm only halfway there so don't don't judge me on that but um but yeah love the Kardashians and I'm so glad it's on the list next is Selling Sunset I'm so hooked on Selling Sunset I know that the fourth or fifth I don't know how many seasons there are. I think there is four. Um, when the when the recent season came out, I was literally hooked. I absolutely was obsessed with it, and I think I only I watched it in a day. Um, and it was one of one of those days that I wasn't at work, so I was in all day, and I just spent the day watching Selling Sunset, and I finished the night by episode eight or ten. How many episodes there were? I finished the last episode at the end of the night so that was fun but I know that it probably only started back in lockdown but I started watching it at the start of this year and I, I got through the first second and third season like like really quick and then season four came out probably this summer I think and yeah, like I said, I binge watched it in a day when I was off work and I, was, I finished the season by the end of the day. That was, that's how, that's how crazy um, and how hooked I am on Selling Sunset. And seeing how much them houses are, I'm, I'm like... Next is a BBC um, show that came back. It came back, came in... Next one is a BBC show that came in probably November, um, and it is The Traitors. I cannot, con I can't tell you how obsessed I am with The Traitors. Um, we have got 10, 11 and 12 left of The Traitors, and I don't want it to be over. I'm not hooked on it. Um, if you haven't watched The Traitors, I definitely would recommend you go and watch it right now. And it's just basically these 22 strangers go into a castle. Um, then there's three traitors and then they've got to pick out who the traitors are and try and vote them out. But people, the traitors are kind of hiding their identity and trying to get the faithful kind of saying that they're a faithful and not a traitor. Uh, and I just love it. I love it. And then the last one I obviously had to ask, add to the list and it was a favourite from last year um, and it is going to be a recurring favourite and it is the only one and only Gilmore Girls. I cannot believe how obsessed I am with Gilmore Girls. I always put it on. It's one, it's one of these kind of feel good kind of TV shows and I know 
people are more obsessed with it in you know autumn but i love it all year round because i just love it um and yeah i love the relationship between lorelei and rory and yeah i just love it and i obviously had to add it to the list hi guys so i know this isn't the best of quality but um, I was just editing this video that you're watching right now and realised that I did do an ending to it but it ended abruptly halfway through because my battery had died. I tried to do it as quickly as I could but because I'm a rambler it just ended um, while I was still speaking so I'm going to do it now for you. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe as always. Please let me know if um, any of these things is your favourite things as well um, and I will see you tomorrow for the last instalment of Chloe's three day special um, where I'm going to be talking about my 2023 goals and I will see you tomorrow and I love you lots. Mwah.